And let me ask you this question. When Republicans have been in charge of the House, the Senate, the White House, or the governor's mansion, or state rep and state senators, or the legislature, because 31 states right now, they control both chambers, a significant number of them in the South, where the majority of black people are, please show me, show me empirical data how the lives of black people have fundamentally changed under Republican rule. I'll wait. Do you, do you know who started getting more votes from the black community? Do you know who? Your favorite guy. Do you know who? He got who? Me, who? Your best friend. No, oh, no, go ahead and say it. Donald Trump. Got it. Yeah. Do you know who started? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, you don't no, no, like that. No, no, no. First of all, first of all, I discussed it on my show. Nice try. But I want you to answer what does my that question. Have to do it on your I want show? you to answer people, my question. No, no, no. People no, don't no. want your show. Hold say I, it here. I want you to answer my question. Yeah. I want you to answer my question. Sure. Republicans control all three branches in South Carolina. Yeah. They control Georgia. They control Mississippi. They control Arkansas. They control Tennessee. So they, they control the legislature in North Carolina. So let me. So since you you make, I'm going to use your argument. Please show me, please, please show me how at the lives of African Americans are drastically improved in those places where Republicans completely control than other places. Show me. Give me an example. Roland, if you would have answered any of my questions, oh my God. if you would have answered oh any God. of my questions I in the last question, hour and a half. You don't like the answer. No, it's not. I don't like the answer. You don't like the you, answer. You, you say, tell me the policies. I'm asking you the policies. Oh, so, so you I'm, don't. I'm asking, so, I, so I can't ask, can't ask you a question. Oh, you, you can't give an answer. You can, but I would like. I brought you here. As, invite me on your show and I'll give you the answer. No, no. Because I'm the guest. Wait, wait, wait. I wait brought you on the you show. Well, first of all, even on my show, if somebody asks me a question, hell, I answer the question. I've answered your questions. You still can't answer it. And the reason you know why you can't answer it. We've been an hour and 20 here's minutes you now. You still answer. haven't answered the question. Actually, I have. You have here's, not. Actually, I have. What policy? Here's why you haven't answered it. You blame the state. No, no, no. You blame surrounding cities. No. You blame Republicans. That's what you blame. No, no. For 50. And I. I, and I tell I'm you, stating, for 59 I'm, years. I, and first of all, systemic racism is a policy because it's actually ingrained in our system. That's first. What I'm also saying to you is what I recognize is how do we fix these, again, institutional, how do we? long range issues? How do we fix them? First and foremost, first and foremost, yeah. we got to stop denying that actually it's a problem. Which you have done. Oh, no. That's first. I just showed you it the is a problem. Se- no, 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 27 no, no. out of 30. No, no. It we, is a no. problem. We've got to stop. It's a big de- problem. Stop denying the 59 reality. years Democrats gotta, have had no. the vote. You and sat here not, and they've... denied the systemic reality of racism in the housing appraisal industry by going, I need to see the 47 million. You just denied it. And I'm One million percent I need to see the data. And I One million you percent I need to, I need to see the data. Here's the deal. And by the way, you're giving Here's a little too much credibility to New York Times. Here's the deal. Oh, okay, fine. Do you want to pull up what? First of all, you gave the Heritage Report. You read a New York Times report citing the Heritage Foundation. Dude, really? Wait, you're, you're telling me New York Times got a lot of credibility. That's no, what you're saying. You, you li- no, I just told you, you referenced the Heritage Foundation. Dude, come on. That's the Daily Signal. I didn't, gotcha. I didn't, that's yeah. the Daily Signal. And who owns them? I don't even know who owns Daily Signal. Heritage Foundation. Okay, great. I've done their show, so that's an in-house organization. Here's what I'm telling you. By the way, go I'm, to, a, go, I'm, go I'm to going, another I'm going, side to give 27 I, out of 30. Here's the deal. I'm going back. I'm going back, which you still won't even answer. And this is what I'm telling you. You can't even show me. Now, I'm going to use Mississippi. Since Mississippi has the highest concentration of black people of any state in America, where Republicans have ruled that state. Since the Mississippi Constitutional Convention in 1891, not a single African-American has been elected statewide in Mississippi. So if Republicans control the governor's mansion, the, the, the legislature in Mississippi, how then, since you talk about the policies, how is it the lives of African-Americans have not improved in Mississippi? If you say it's, it's the Democrats, it's their policies. Show me, tell me how it hasn't improved in Mississippi. Uh, Roland, until you give me your answers on the questions I've asked, I gave you answer. You're gonna go you to don't one like specific answer. example, no, and this no. is what I will tell Mississippi, you: Mississippi. Here's Florida, what I will tell you: Arkansas, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia. I've given you multiple states. You still have an answer oh to the question. I answered your question. No, you have not. No, you don't like the answer. No, you have not answered the question. I have. You blamed and deflected. You don't like the answer. What is the answer? You don't like the answer. What's the answer? I gave you multiple. Your answer answers. is tell me about Memphis. 
It's deflect. That's first, a deflection. Uh, so first of all, I never even brought up Memphis. You, who did you just, not Memphis, uh, Mississippi. Mississippi. You deflect. No, I'm giving you an example. So, of what? No, because his you You say, haven't explained no, no, 27 no, no, out of 30. Let me, let me say you it again. You haven't explained. Let me say it again. 59 you, years you've had the you, vote. You say, and I'm telling you. What have you done since, about since it? You say it. Since you said yeah. it. Since you said, oh my God, you Democratic votes. Show me in Republican red, as red as states, how they have improved the lives of African Americans. Show me. Roland. Roland, I, you I, don't, I don't think you understand what I'm saying to you oh, right no. now. I understand okay, what you're let, saying. Let me, let me ask a question for you. What is your method of helping black uh, African Americans? Go ahead. Tell us. First and foremost, when we talk about helping African Americans, I'm going to acknowledge what is systemic and... What is systemic? What, systemic? Yeah, define when, it. Systemic is when you have the, the housing appraisal. Yeah. That's systemic. Okay. Okay? Systemic is when you have a higher proportion four to five times of black children who are being expelled or arrested in school compared to white kids. That's systemic. Okay. Now, no, 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 no. You asked how. First and foremost, for we have what's community, we have what's systemic, what's community-based, which means the village, or also what is individual. When you start talking about how do you make transformations in this country, first and foremost, you have to deal with the two most important things, health and you deal with the issue of education. When, when Republicans and conservatives were talking about get rid of Roe v. Wade, I literally said, okay, gotcha. And I had, I had Ben Watson, the former NFL player, come on. He did a documentary on the issue of abortion. And I said, Ben, here's the fundamental problem when I hear pro-life. I said, they're not pro-life. They're anti-abortion. I said, because the people who are so-called pro-life, I said, show me the policies when they confront the infant mortality rate among African Americans. Show me when they confront the higher number of black women who are dying in childbirth, the people who are having children. He said, you can't. They literally can't. And so that's, a, that's an example. When we talk about, again, health, we're talking about uh, 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 prenatal care, we talk about those issues, that means that if you're a black child and you have a higher incident of black women who are dying in childbirth, Serena, we, and see, it ain't just a money thing. Serena Williams talked about with all her money how she almost died in childbirth because white doctors were not listening to her. Do you know the opioid crisis, why it initially was killing more white people? You know why? Tell us. Because doctors in America, the study showed it. Doctors were saying, we're not going to prescribe the opioids to African Americans because we think they're coming to us for drugs. So y'all got to take Tylenol. So they were overprescribing. Oxycontin and all these powerful medica- meds. Well, it, and, I, and I said, well, my goodness, thank God, the one time racism benefited black people, and we were not over prescribed uh, 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 Oxycontin and other bills, uh, other pills. The white death rate has, uh, the, the, the average, average length of whites living in America has dropped largely because of the opioid crisis. What I'm, so that's systemic. That is systemic. In your system, your we, have to, we have How to. How do we fix the sex? So first, well, 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 first of all, the way you first of all fix, fix anything systemic, you even acknowledge that it's systemic. That's first. Two, then you have to have your data, and then be, be able to go in and say, okay, now let's now confront the reality of what we're facing. You cannot have in schools where you have largely white teachers who don't know how to handle black kids, whose automatic call is call the cops where you now have kids who are in kindergarten and first grade who now are being handcuffed and now taken down to jail. What you have to deal with is, in a school system, how do you deal with those children, but also where they're coming from? What's one of the issues? I talked to numerous superintendents and teachers. One of the biggest things is that kids are coming to school hungry. I did, when, I, when, when, when Republicans, when you're talking about food, you talk about food and talk about poor, when they wanted to cut SNAP benefits, I was sitting here going, now explain that to me. How we got the richest, prosperous country in the world, and we want to cut food benefits to folk who are hungry. Kids, teachers, principals, superintendents have said one of the biggest things that we're facing are kids who literally are coming to school who are hungry. That's why they can't study. Probably got discipline problems. So now, okay, this down, how do we deal with that? We have to acknowledge that even exists. What we can't do is from a macro political level is go, oh, oh, the, these folks, y'all just don't want to work. It's called the working poor for a reason. They are working. 
I'm not going to just throw people under the bus and go, oh, you're just you're just ignorant. You don't want to work. I'm acknowledging what the fact of the matter is when the Republican governor of Alabama about 10 years ago, he wanted to change the tax code and he used Jesus as the model. He said, folks, in Alabama, they were taxing the poor. They were taxing people beginning at forty six hundred dollars. I think it was forty six hundred dollars was ninety six hundred. He said these are poor people. He used evangelicals, white conservative evangelicals. He used he's campaigning. Jesus talked about how we help the poor, blah, 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 blah. He went through this whole deal. When it came time to vote, what do you think happened? Lost 65 to 35. So the same folk who love Jesus, the same folk who holler, oh, I'm pro-life and I love me some Jesus and I'm an evangelical. No, when it came to that, no, they voted with a pocketbook because they were saying, oh, those broke poor people. A Republican governor, a conservative evangelical, they said, no, 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 it's our pocketbook. The problem we have in this country is we are frauds when we talk about we care about the poor. We are fraudulent when I we agree. say that. Both sides. And what happens is, I, I said America. Yeah. I said America. That includes everybody. Wow. And, the pro- and, and, and so yeah. what then happens is our economic policies screw them. And then we go, yeah. why you should pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. When the reality is. You think some politicians co- don't want to get blacks out of their financial, some of these bad communities. You don't think they want them to let, let, let become me, independent, let, making money. You let, think some people would like to keep them let, where they're at? Let me be clear. In America, yes. In America, yes. Because it's reflected in our policies. Talk, to, ha, have Reverend William Barr from the Poor People's so, Campaign. So, so if, and this is if not it's, just. If it's reflected in. And it's not just race. Roland. It's not just race. Roland, look. Because it's more broke white folks in America than black. When you run a, when you run a, a, a business and you have 40,000 agents nationwide and they're Hispanic, uh, 54% Hispanic. Uh, 24% African-American. This is our business. I have offices in Memphis. I have offices in Mississippi. Okay. I have offices in Chicago. I have offices in, uh, uh, you know, South Side. I can go offices in. Uh, I was just okay. in Calverton. Where's Calverton is in, um, where is Calverton? Calverton's in uh, Baltimore or D.C. I have offices in, I go to all the, I have offices in Tallahassee. I have offices everywhere. Okay. okay? And I go visit these places. Okay. Because it's what I need to do to go check on these uh, these folks. You have to realize, sixty percent of our company, they're Democrats. Okay. Point I'm trying that to make to that you ain't is, got nothing to do with what I'm talking but, about. But it but it does to me because of I of course it does. Well, yeah, you're saying it in a sarcastic way. I'll tell you in my way, because I want to find out what we can do to improve, and if the data improves. Republican policies are doing better, which they haven't had a chance to do because they haven't had to vote for four. That's a lie. Years. That's they a have lie. Six, 92% has been voting no, no, that, no, Democrats stop, for stop, 59 stop, stop. See, right years. Here, right here. You act as if Republicans haven't won. The, the, you, they, what, I don't what, think you understand what I'm saying question. to you here. If you're a Republican and you win, is the, are African Americans still your the constituent? No, no, no. Trump made a lot are, of progress in your community how, for 15 years. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. For where? For where? Income? You want me to pull up the stats for you? Pull it up. Yeah. We had a net loss of jobs. Net loss of jobs. You, you counted COVID. Don't do that when you counted COVID. Minute. Hold on. Stop. stop. Don't, don't bring up COVID and say net loss of jobs. Wait a minute. So you don't bring up COVID. Oh, my so, God. So, You're so, going to say. No, no, wait, by wait, the way, wait, that's do, what, what, you no, no, no. Not, you what you just did. What you just did. Do we not bring up. What you just did. That's a validate. for three. What you just did validates why. That article about it's the nuts. appraisals being this, that's exactly what you just did. No, it's not. Doesn't tell the whole story. Here's the deal right no. here. Here's the deal. Right, I love this here. This is what I love about this. I love about when people, again, go, oh, let's take out what happened. I know he was president, not just him. Uh, same thing, Obama. It, we, if we take out 2009, 2010, okay, oh, my God, this is what it looks like. I can't ignore 09 and 010 and 10. We can't go, well, my goodness, I know we had a war when FDR was president. Look, when you the president, you get the good and you get the bad. The assessment is overall. So rolling. so so the, pre the, pre global pandemic. But hold up, one second. He no, wasn't no, no, helping no, African Americans. The re- he didn't? He was uh, unemployment, everything wasn't going up during Trump in the first three years. So once the pandemic hit, that hold was, up, hold that up, was hold, bad hold, news. Hold, hold, hold. Are we now saying that 
the president is responsible and gets credit for unemployment and uh, being low. Are we saying that? I'm saying every policy that he was doing no. to help African Americans. No, what you said. No, you said every was policy. Once the, once the no, pandemic I said name hit. the policy. Once the I said pandemic name the policy. Hit. I said name the policy. You said unemployment rate. That's not a policy. Because the reality right now is unemployment rate right now at the lowest in 54 years, including Trump. The black unemployment rate, lowest in 54 years, including Trump. I'm asking, you said Trump helping policies. I'm asking you what policies. I didn't say policies. I said help, helping African Americans all no, the— No, no, you said policies. Can you name them? Can you name them? I'm what, waiting. What, what I said to you is the Can you following. name the policy? What I said to you is the following. I said 59 years. Got it. You've had this vote. And How me, come you haven't made let, bigger okay, progress so in 59 years? So in the same years? 59 years. You're going to say Republicans no, 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 have no, no, the House, no, no, Senate, no, no, and no, no, the no, presidency. Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you yes. a question. If a Republican wins, uh -huh. are black folks still constituents? Of course. Okay. Sure. So when Republicans have won, yeah. show me, again, mm -hmm. Republicans. Yeah. Whether we're talking about state, city, county, state, governor, or legislature— and Congress, show me how lives of black people have improved. I've asked you, there are 10 or more southern states. When you turn on every single news and every single personality <laughs> that says Republican doesn't want the good for you, it's the Democrats that are here to help you. Here's the deal. Yeah, there's there. you've had 59 and you years. Get, and Republicans in the same 59 the years have been elected. And what did they do? 92% of the vote you've had for 50 59 years. And in the same 59 years, they won. Yeah. And, but you can't, but you simply are ignoring that. But how much has improved? 27 out and of 30 I, and cities. I, and I'm asking you, in, the, yeah. in those same cities and those yeah. same states, who are still constituents? Yeah. Here's what, here's the thing that, again, and this is what was you, for some reason, I don't know, like it was a block in your brain. If you are Republican, and I've said this to African Americans, you vote for somebody and your person don't win, you are still a constituent. And the reality is, <laughs> you are. So You're funny. still a constituent. It's so funny Ted, because, Ted, because Ted, Ted Cruz gave an interview yesterday yeah. when he was jammed up about by Margaret Brennan about Ted, how are you supporting a two term limit in the United States Senate running for your third term? Mm -hmm. He goes, Well, because the 30 million Texans want me there. No, it's a lot of Texans who didn't want you there, but we're still constituents. So the question still comes is, Senator Ted Cruz, what are you doing for African Americans? I can't act as if you you're acting as if Republicans have no responsibility. Have don't have to do any policies. That's what you're that saying. Even when they That's win, what you're saying. even when they Those win, are your words. even when they win, yeah. oh, it's all Democrats. And what I'm telling yeah. you is, what we're dealing with in this country, uh -huh. dealing with is, yeah. you have one party that historically, over the last uh, 50 plus years, has just completely like I ain't talking to you. Yeah, I ain't talking to you. That's what you've had. What I'm over here, you've had Democrats who have had some policies, have had talk. Let me be real clear, because I've jammed them up on many things. Absolutely should be doing more when we talk about rate of return. I jammed up President Obama directly, saying, I'm not just, I'm not just excited because you're the first black president. You're still the 44th president. And what I'm telling you is, because you won't answer that question, even in the places where Republicans have complete control, what are their policies? What do you want from them, though? You want them oh to do God. what? You no, want CRT no, no, is no, no, what you want? No, here's what I, what oh, would you like oh, from them? That, well, I, I love, what would I, you like I, from I, them? I love how you just throw, want to throw that up. Here's what I want. Yeah. I want them to treat black folks and Latinos or, folks, or anybody who did not vote for them as constituents. They are. What I don't, no, they're not. You think Democrats when, when, are treating when, when Republicans take, when, as when constituents? Reeves, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 excuse me. You no, no, think excuse, Democrats excuse me, are treating on, Republicans nice, as constituents? Nice, nice deflection. What la la governor, land do you live in? No, no, you're in the la la land. Yeah. When Governor Tate Reeves, when Governor Tate Reeves of Mississippi said and proudly said when I was a treasurer of Mississippi, I purposely didn't send funds to Jackson, Mississippi. But now he wants to complain about the water crisis. Well, dude, what? You were the treasurer. You neglected resources. What city supplies more of the state's revenue in Mississippi? Jackson. What supplies more of the sales tax revenue? Jackson. But you wanted to deny the resources to the very same city. That's Republican. And what I'm telling you is, and I don't, again, I don't know why you just somehow like rose colored. The issue I'm saying is this here. If Republicans want to be like Missouri, 
show me, fine, show me. But I'm telling you, I don't know how many black Republicans you've sat with, but I've sat with a hell of a whole lot. And their their yeah. great frustration is their own party won't even listen to them. Have Roland, you ever talked to Michael who, Steele? R- Roland, I'm just asking, who, you ever talked to Michael Steele? I, 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 I have not. I okay. would not have a problem having him on. Okay, he was a brother who actually ran the Republican National Committee. Yeah. And he will openly tell you of the absolute frustration he had with Republican leaders on the very same thing that we're talking about. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.